when we heard Doc Rivers give his final speech after the Game 7 collapse between the L.A. Clippers and the Denver Nuggets, who would have thought that would be the last interview he would do as the L.A. Clippers head coach? No one saw this coming with the L.A. Clippers at all. No one saw this coming at all. But guys, I'm going to give you a breakdown on the many conversations that have been had, or better yet, the many comments that have been made concerning the L.A. Clippers basketball team, which led up to this. Not only the collapse, but things that have been said that make you really think and wonder, is somebody pulling the strings behind the curtain that we don't know nothing about or we're paying any attention to? Guys, we're going to get into it right after this. Welcome back to Tomorrow Leader Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. And if you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Click those thumbs up, guys. Hey, make sure you like the video so you can show YouTube that, you know, we got some traction going on here to get that out, that algorithm going up so that this, these videos can get out to more people. And I appreciate every last one of you that take the opportunity and time to sit down and watch me give you the great information every time I post one. But guys, also you can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. Hey, the word, the word is all over the place that Doc Rivers has been released as the L.A. Clippers head coach. We all knew someone was going to take the hit, but we didn't expect it to be Doc Rivers. He is the first coach in NBA history that has lost a 3-1 lead on three different occasions. Guys, the credit, what's so crazy? overall record for closing out series is 3-8, and eight. and that, that's games with the Clippers. The man's built the Clippers for seven years. I mean, you got to give him some credit, guys. He coached his behind off with the hand that he was dealt. Yes, he did get two superstars in this season, hoping that they were going to finally get the Clippers over the hump. But you got to remember one thing. You had Kawhi Leonard came in low managing. Uh, Paul George, playoff P, as they like to call him. He had shoulder surgery. So guess what? The team was not fully together until, actually, until really when they got in the bubble. But there's, there's a few things that stand out to me about all of this that I'm sure, like I said before, I'm sure many of you have missed. Kawhi Leonard said after Game 7 during his press, press conference, the team needs to have a higher basketball IQ. You think the owner wasn't listening to that? We've seen the tweet come. We see if, if you haven't paid attention to the tweets that's been going back and forth with Kawhi Leonard's trainer and others on, on Twitter, guys, you missed some great stuff. Uh, Paul, he, he also mentioned Paul George doesn't have a great basketball IQ. Not to mention, he even went in, on, went in on this year's sixth man of the year, Montrez Harrell, saying that, you know, he, he's not to be trusted, which leads me back to Kawhi. The team didn't jail because you load managed. I'm sure that was put in your contract when the owner of Steve Ballmer, when he signed you to become a part of the Clippers, I'm sure that was put in your contract. Dennis made sure that was written in there that you would load manage. So it's kind of like you put Doc Rivers behind the eight ball, not that time, but then let's get into the playoffs themselves. You guys had three opportunities to close out, and you didn't. You and Paul George both missed point-blank range shots. Paul George shooting off the side of the rim. Patrick Beverly was abysmal. Uh, Montrez Harrell, he literally got pumped by daggone Djokovic. But, I mean, hey, who am I? Who am I to say what's going on? I'm just calling it how I see it. And to now see Doc Rivers is being relieved, relieved of his duties as the Clippers head coach really has me shaking my head saying, who in the world is going to inherit this mess? Because guess what? There's some folks that I know is not going to be there next season. You got a few people that, that are up for renewal on their contract. You already know Montrez Hill. He's looking to get a max Reggie deal. Reggie Jackson and I believe like two other – Montrez Hill, Reggie Jackson, and two other players on the team that's up for uh, contract renewals. So – and then not to mention the Clippers gave away the farm for Kawhi Leonard and play missing every shot playoff P. Got dog on to come to the Clippers. I mean, yeah, some somebody had to take that hit. You don't, hey, you don't stroke that kind of check and don't get no return on your investment. And that's one of the main reasons why the owner decided, hey, it's time to move on and make a change. But and also remember this: you got the logo, Jerry West in the building too. So don't think Jerry West ain't leading up to it. Don't, don't think he ain't telling them that. But my guess is I'm thinking that they're going to bring in probably uh, Sam Cassell or uh, Teron Lou to see, you know, what they could do with the team. But it kind of makes me wonder about either one of them because of the fact that both of them was on Doc's staff. So if they weren't listening to the play, if the players wasn't listening to them 
and they were on Doc's staff, I don't know if they really would want to take on that job. So we're going to see. But Paul George, this message for you, my friend. If you didn't get the memo that this was a championship or bus season, you better wake up to it now because you are part of the reason why your coach just got fired. But until next time, guys, if you like the content, please like, share, subscribe. Also, you can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. And remember, guys, be that one and lead.